Nobody go beat me, David Doe finally reveals political ambition and position he might run for. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel. God bless you guys. We really love and appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you once again, guys. We appreciate you. Yes, my people, we have a shocking and an interesting one at the same time. Davido just re revealed um, his uh, 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 political ambition. We know Davido very well, uh, 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 a musician, but he's stating right now that uh, he might be going into uh, politics. We know he comes from a politician family, his uncle, Ademola Adeleke. And they are all part of um, the People's Democratic Party. It could mean that uh, we know recently the, P the, the PDP national chairman, Uche Secondus, made a statement which uh, Indigbos, Ohanese, they've criticized him for and lambasted him for. Stated that um, the PDP uh, uh, presidential ticket is open to everyone, both young, both old, well to do, whoever, regardless of their status. We don't know if, if it's on that basis that uh, uh, Davido is coming from or based on the fact that he's come from a family that uh, they've got uh, politicians among themselves. Anyway, guys, we'll find out what more about what Davido has revealed. We'll bring you more of the details shortly. But before we do, my people, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, we'll get down into the news now and grab all of the details. The Black Box interview, which is being held by Ebuka, still makes revelations as David O was hosted again for the part three, which he themed the future. This time around, David o speaks about his possible moves into the political terrain if he eventually leaves and joins the game later in his life. He's always been one attached to the political scenes as he was very active during the election involving his uncle, who was also known as the dancing senator, Senator Ademola Adeleke of Oshun State. Davido didn't hide his affiliation to the current opposition party PDP and has stood his ground on that for some time now. It's always been hinted that the superstar will someday run for office and in the interview he said, if I run, nobody go beat me. Wow, that's quite interesting. Nigerians, do we believe that? This one is not, uh, it's not music industry. It's a different ball game altogether. Politics and music, they are quite different. Anyway, let's carry on. The confidence he has is quite deep, but not bad. Because one has to be high in morale and confidence not to be pushed aside in the country's political game. It is believed that he lower chambered of the National Assembly, House of Reps, is one hot target for those who intend to participate in the country's polity. For starters, and that's what Davido is targeting, he already has the numbers for him with regards to fans and possible supporters. When asked by Ebuka if he would participate someday, he said, I'll probably start from the House of Representatives, this is the first time I'm ever saying this. Yes, I will run for office. That's a real one. And indirectly, he has made his statement. And the country can't wait for him to be a full participant in the future elections because he has said he, he follows world politics very well. He said about world politics, I watch CNN. I know what's going on in Russia. Now there is a crisis in Mali where the people remove the sitting president. I love politics. All I read is politics. He's a musician and a great one at that. But one who's interested in international politics is definitely trying to analyze current and future international terrain and set up policies that will benefit his administration when it comes alive. We might just be seeing a possible House of Rep member in the near future. Wow, my people, this one is interesting. Uh, we know very well his uncle. Uh, Ademola Adeleke, known as the Dancing Senator. 
We know them very well and um, they are big supporters of the People's Democratic Party, obviously members of um, the People's uh, uh, the members of the People's Democratic Party. We recall that even regarding the Edo State governorship election, David o spoke as well, spoke about his support for Governor Gordon Obaseki and um, stated that um, no more Godfatherism, all of that has to be put to an end. So it's quite interesting to know that apart from um, the music industry, David o, um has got interest in politics and is looking into going uh, into politics. And you know, it's been stated that he's got the numbers, he's got both. So he's got the cash, he's got the bar, he's got the supporters as well. But in my opinion, it's quite different. So the supporters of your, your supporters as a musician, as a music star, uh, it's quite different when it comes to politics because the expectations are different. People are not expecting you to write a song or make a particular move that you'll be excited about. It's about making policies and things that will move the states um, forward, that will move the country forward and all of that. But I know probably he must have known all of that because he stated that all he reads is politics. He knows a lot about international politics, about all of the things happening in different countries um, around, even in Mali, that he follows up on everything. So, Obviously, he knows what is going on in the country and he stated that if he wants to start, he will just start probably with a, um, a House of Rep member. He will start as a House of Representative and from there, push it forward. So guys, here is David o for you. He has hinted, he has given a hint that um, something might be coming up very soon. Anyways, but what do we think? Do we see him as a, as a politician or we still see him as a musician? Because like I said, there are two different industries. They are quite different. The, the music industry is termed as an entertainment industry where you uh, come out with something to entertain people, to take away their sorrow. But politics is not entertainment. It, if, you, if you misbehave, if you do it anyhow, the people, they will not smile with you. They won't even... They, 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 they will give it to you just the way you want it. So I don't know. David o very well. I'm sure he must know about politics, being the fact that uh, his uncle is, uh, is innate. So he, he has a, a first hand. He's got first hand experience from his uncle. So he will not just be speaking that way. So we know he gave all of this. Uh, he made all of this revelation when um, he was interviewed by um, A. Buka. Yes, my people, so let us know what you think. Like I said, if you believe that uh, David Doe is going to be a good politician or if he's someone that will gain supporters when he finally gets into politics, let us know. Thank you once again, guys. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. So I like, come your way again with more updates, my people. It's bye for now and God bless.